Bootsy. Only three tickets to ride. Bootsy is hungry. Oh, look, he's drinking water. Oh, huh. he did for a second. Okay. Let's see if I can pick him up for a second without him nailing me. Come on. When he's hungry, that's where the risk is. Come on. Oh, oh no, you no. see me. Come on. Ah, oh, he don't want to come. I can't get his body out. No, he's going to get defensive. Yeah, I'm just going to have to feed him. All right, buddy. Here you go. Look here. Come over here. Whoop. Over here. Hey, come over here. Or not. There we go. Bon appetit. I will wait till feeding's over if anybody wants to see this. I'll be a few minutes. He or she is much more docile after they've been fed. Easier to pick up and hold. No, is that the bite? Excuse me. Now, after Bootsy eats, um, we won't disturb Bootsy for a couple of days because we want Bootsy to digest it. It's really bad for snakes if they do regurgitate or something at this point, so we don't want to frighten Bootsy. It can kill them. Bootsy has always been fed frozen mice that are reheated, never live food. At this point, if Bootsy was given a live mouse and had a bad experience, like got bit or scratched, it could cause Bootsy not to eat again.
finish? Almost. I'm still recording. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sometimes we're <clears throat> lucky to see him get to drink water after he eats, but it takes a takes a minute. He's got really powerful jaws. Yeah, not many people have seen a lavender corn snake, which is what he is. That's what I was saying. He wouldn't survive in the wild because if he had to eat wild, like a live feeding at this point, if he got traumatized by a fight with a mouse or something, it would cause him possibly never to eat again. Plus, he's just, you know, so bright. He doesn't blend in with the environment. He's a target for predators. Yeah. They would see him real easy with the coloring he's got. So we've had him five years, and he was the size of a earthworm, a large earthworm, large earth yeah, like well, a night crawler, and. I would say he's close drink. to. I, I would say he's no, close. He's, got, he's still got the tail. I would say he's close to five foot. Hmm. I would say he's close to five foot. Oh, he's definitely, definitely five foot. He's still. He's got the tail hanging out. It won't take long though. Mm -mm. And there it goes. And he'll get fed in about another week. He's much more docile and easy to pick up and less likely to bite once he's eaten, once it's digested. But when he's hungry, that's when he's more frisky. And it's not that he's trying to be defensive, but I think that it's um, the heat. Him out? No, not after he's eaten. Oh, I leave him alone. I have before. It's, I was just saying in the video, it's not good for him. If they regurgitate at this point, it can kill them. He's got it all the way down in his stomach now, though. Well, we know where he's going, back in the cave. Probably get to a heat source over here, too. Yeah, we've discovered that this um, paper bedding is a lot uh, is a lot better than the aspen wood that they want you to use. You don't see him put it in reverse a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's like beep 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 beep. All right, Bootsy, beep, we'll we'll see you in a couple beep. of days. But there he goes. Mm, he's like bye bye, Bootsy. Bye -bye.